what's up everyone, it's Hunter here, and today I'm going to be talking about the 5 things that I hate about my Nissan 350Z. So, to be honest, I don't hate my 350Z, I really like it, it's a pretty good car, but there is just, you know, the thing that people make 5 things I hate about my car, and it's kind of like a way to show like 5 bad things about it. So, the first thing, like, isn't really even about the car. Insurance for this is kind of expensive because it's a two-seater and no back seat that makes it more and it's um, Because of the higher horsepower insurance companies charge you more especially if you're my age So like I had a v6 Mustang before this. I know it's a v6 the insurance for that This is about five times as much as I paid for that car. So it's kind of insane, but I like the car all right, second thing I hate is this. The interior, especially like the front dash right here, the sides right here, they get scratched up really bad. And uh, it's just kind of annoying. I'm probably gonna have to put like a, a wrap or something over this just to make it look a little bit better. But that happens in a lot of the cars. So that's, it gets annoying. And just to add on, one of the other things I don't like is this, this is like a storage compartment. I, it kind of looks, doesn't fit in. Like if they had, I know it's just an older car, but I, like a screen right here would have been better or just like some, something else. But this compartment right here is kind of ugly. And the third thing I don't like about this car is no glove box. Kind of inconvenient when they put the glove box behind the seat. So I gotta reach around. And then I can reach in here, and there's uh, some storage in a glove box. Then there's storage here, and here, and then there's still in the back all that storage. But, you know, it's kind of annoying whenever I want to go into, like, my glove box. I have to go reach back here to get in it. So another thing, it's probably pretty obvious, but this is not a winter car. I was driving this um, in North Dakota right now, and... Uh, it snowed for the first time this year and I haven't had this car in snow before because I well I just got it but uh, <laughs> I haven't had this car in snow so I had to drive downtown and um, I could not drive this car I had to park on the side of the road and walk the rest of the way because I have pulled up to a stoplight and the road looks pretty flat but you know most roads like slant a little bit to the curb um, just to, like get rid of water and everything but my car actually was sliding off to the side of the road and uh, there was a hill in front of me. I was like, there's no way I'm going to go down this hill. So I had to pull over and stop my car. But this car is not a winter car um, at all. So actually this week I'm going to be driving it home and uh, driving up my other car for the winter. And maybe I'll get another car because it's my old Buick that I have in my other videos. And I don't want to drive that car. So I'll probably get like a truck or uh, like a something else to drive because I can't drive this car anymore and the last thing that I don't like about this car is the parts uh, seem to break the uh, electronics seem to break and uh, some of the parts are like, more expensive to fix so the windows um, they have a lot of problems that's across all the models even this car my driver's side window the window works I'll show you, I'll show you. the window works but it has a really weak, really slow motor. That's probably gonna be expensive to fix, $500 or, I don't know. Um, my windshield wipers, um, the windshield wiper fluid, something broke on the cord. Um, I'm gonna fix that, it should be an easy fix, but again, it's something electronic that broke. And my headlight, the ballast, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's the thing that ignites the headlight. That went out of my car. So that's almost a grand to fix. And then the bulb went out. Uh, and the bulbs are a hundred bucks each. So you can see the electronics in this car aren't the most durable and they can be expensive to fix. But besides that, I really like this car. If you're looking at getting one, I'd suggest it. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that. And thanks for watching. Bye.